everybody. Welcome back to 100 Days of Magic. This is day number 65, and I need some help. My wife, I I'm, I'm, can't gush enough, but a, anyway, she gave me Angus McKenzie. Of course, you know, we kind of saw that coming from a couple weeks ago, but she gave me this card and told me my directions were do something cool with it. Well, I cannot decide what I want to do. Now, I there are a ton of Angus McKenzie fog decks out there. And it's just, it seems so done. And y'all know that I like to try to do things that are a little different, a little off the beaten path, out of the norm. So, I, I, I was sitting here going, how, how can I build an Angus and make it different? Now, I looked over on EDH Rec, and the the most popular builds that they've got are, of course, Fog, the uh, Enchantment theme, Planeswalker, like Super Friend type things, which that's really neat because Angus can protect them as well because creatures, you know, attack and block, but don't see on any combat damage. So, you know. There's just so many different ways to go about it. And, I mean, technically, he is the same three colors of the the tribal crabs I'm building that has Treva as a hold-in. I think it's Treva. Yeah, the life gain invasion block guy. Dragon. So, but I, I don't know that... I don't know that tribal crabs is uh the way to go here <laughs> um clue tokens uh tokens of any kind um i mean and and there again i could just do white blue green good stuff white blue i can understand the enchantments because that's where most of your good enchantment cards live is in those three colors especially since c18 but y'all give me some help. I have no clue what to do with this guy. And uh, to my directions are, it has to be cool. So uh, I do like him. This is the most expensive legendary creature so far. I mean, uh, as of, of this date. But uh, I, I guess another one could come up, overtake him. But I doubt it. I don't know that Rasputin is uh, that big a deal. But anyway, <clears throat> Angus McKenzie. It, I feel like cards that I'm going to have to have are either equipment or enchantment things that untap him. Like that, um, oh, what's the, the enchantment version of the horseshoe crab ability? You know, spin the blue mana, you untap it. Uh, I feel like those, because we are playing multiplayer, and typically we play four plus, so more times than not, you have more than one combat step that you're going to want to fog. So we need ways to untap our boy here. And I can't not look at him and think of Monty Python and the Holy Grail. I mean, I, I, I just can't. But anyway, I guess there's an option too. Uh, I'm betting, I'm betting he's a wizard. I'm going to pull up Gatherer here on my phone. Uh, hopefully I can multitask and keep things, you know, still be talking while I'm doing it. Angus, evidently not. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So, let's see exactly what his creature type is. Angus McKenzie. He is a human cleric. Wow, not a wizard. Looks like a wizard. I guess they defined it by his abilities and less his art. But here is the current wording. Uh, it's green, white, blue now. 
I, I guess the order is different. I don't know. Um, legendary creature, human cleric. Green, white, blue, tap. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Activate this ability only before the combat damage step. It is a rare battle. No longer serves a purpose in Caracas. Um, now, I don't... Could we do... I'm sure there's another tribe that lives in those colors. I mean, yeah, I guess merfolk, but... Uh, let's see, clerics? Uh, it's hard to do clerics without using black, because there's so many good black ones. Um, although that could be an option. Here I am just brainstorming, trying to come up with something. And I could totally do the... Another option is bling. Old, powerful, um, just, you know, good stuff deck. Another option is, uh, oh, what was that? Uh, who did that song? 1994? wonder if there's enough, enough cards that see print. It's all print in 1994. Y'all remember, it, it, it was the Jason Aldi's, Aldean song. But just a 1994 deck. Obviously, that would encompass Legends. Uh, it's it's kind of half of 93, 94. But um, I have to look that up. That may, be, that may be an option. I just thought of that. Because I'm looking at every aspect uh, of the card. Uh, I'm looking at... at uh, Maybe people with capes. I've already done beards. Uh, he has a cape. Staff. He's got a staff. Could totally do staffs. Oh, man. Staff of Domination would have to go in. Just those two cards alone are, are begged for something busted. Um, Legends was a big set. Is it possible to do just a Legends? I don't know that I have enough cards to do Legends. No, because Legends didn't have basic lands in it. Huh. Ninety four, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I hear. I, I'm just rambling now. I, I'm gonna stop. And y'all tell me what you think. Help me out. What would be the coolest way to use Angus McKenzie as a, a commander? I'm going to stop now because all I'm really doing is just, you know, brainstorming. Um, y'all let me know what you think, please. And we will see y'all tomorrow.